Kayla, and today I'm going to be talking about the Dot Watch, which is a Braille smartwatch by Dot Incorporated. So I just want to start off by saying a huge thank you to Dot Incorporated for sending me the Dot Watch um, so that I could try it out and review it for you guys today. I also want to preface this video by saying that honesty and transparency is something that's very important to me and something that I pride myself on here on my channel. So I want you viewers to know that you can always count on me to be 100% honest when I'm doing a product review. Even though it is incredibly kind of companies to send me products, um, it does not influence how I feel about the product or what I say about the product. So just want to let you viewers know you can always trust me to be honest with you. So now we can just jump right into the video. I want to start off by giving just a little bit of background on Dot Incorporated, the company. Um, so they are not just a company that makes assistive tech. Um, they are very passionate about braille literacy. They are involved with several um, initiatives and outreach for braille literacy. They also are developing software as well as devices. And they are, um, I believe, currently trying to get tactile and braille kiosks in like malls and subway stations. So I think that's really cool that they are very passionate about promoting braille literacy. They are not just here to manufacture and sell assistive tech. They are really committed to the cause. So I think that's really great. As a blind person myself, I do think that braille literacy is very important. Um, I have talked on my channel before, I've mentioned like, I cannot spell. I am the worst speller because all of my information is auditory. And so since I don't see words spelled out, like I, I do not know how to spell them or I don't remember how they're spelled. So Braille is a really good way to just increase that literacy um, because you are actually kind of reading instead of just listening. I only learned Braille a few years ago, so I'm still kind of at a beginner's level with my Braille reading. I definitely should practice more, um, but this watch has helped me practice and definitely helped me increase my Braille literacy, so that has been awesome. Okay, so now we can talk about the watch itself. So here is the dot watch. Um, it has a white face that has four braille cells. And for those of you who may be unfamiliar with refreshable braille devices, what it is, um, it has four cells that have like six very small holes for the braille dots and like these little um, pins, I guess, kind of like come up through the hole to make the braille dots. Um, and it's, it's electronic. So it's uh, pretty neat. So it has that and then it has um, two touch sensors underneath the braille cells um, that are forward and backward. So that will go to the next set of four braille cells. Um, then it has on the side, it has two buttons, a select button and then a home button. And then in the middle has a crown or a knob, if you will, to that turns. Um, and then the strap on the watch is silver and it's magnetic, so it's adjustable. So that's pretty cool because I have a small wrist, so it's able to fit me. Um, I will say like the face, like the watch itself is pretty big. It's wider than my wrist, um, but I have teeny tiny baby wrists, so probably most people won't have that same issue. So one thing, Personally, for me, is I feel like this watch is not the cutest thing ever. Um, it's not super fashionable. I don't really know how to make a Braille watch fashionable. I'm not sure. I mean, it's not awful, but like, it's not something that I would really like love to wear all the time. Um, so just, you know, some people may not care anything about that. I care somewhat about that because, you know, I'm a 28 year old woman and I like to look cute. So yeah. Okay. So now let's talk about the functions of the watch. So gosh, this is such an awkward angle to try and show the watch. I don't know what's best to do this. Just do it this way, I guess. So if you hit the select button, 
your braille cells pop up and it comes up with the time. So it has four cells. It has zero, two, three, two. So it is 2.32. That is the time. Um, so then you turn, if you turn the crown up, um, it has your battery percentage. So it has the number symbol and then um, two cells for numbers. It has a three, three oh, so 30%. Also will mention this battery lasts for a very long time. I was surprised. I have been using this for over a week, maybe even two weeks, and it still has 30% battery. So that's pretty cool. And then if you turn the crown up one more time, um, it says connected or disconnected. And that's because it can pair with your phone. There's like an app and it pairs through Bluetooth. So I will talk about that a little more, um, in, in a minute. So if I press the home button, the cells go down. And so the watch face is just flat. So that's kind of like resting mode. And then if I click the select button, it comes back up with the time that it always pops up with the time. So then if I scroll the crown down, um, it has notifications. And so that's where it pairs with your smartphone and you can get notifications on the watch. I'm going to circle back to that. Um, we can talk about notifications in a minute. Um, I just want to get through um, the functions on the watch first. So you turn it again, you have stopwatch. And then if you turn it again, you have timer. So I'm going to lump these two together because they're kind of similar. Stopwatch counts up, timers count down. You guys know what those are. Um, so yeah, it does that. What is, what I like about this. So if I do stopwatch and I select, and then I'll select again, it's zero, 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 zero. I'll start it starts counting. I don't know if you can hear like the braille cells like clicking as they're refreshing. Um, so it's counting, but if I click the home button, um, you know, the, the cells go down, but the stopwatch continues to count. And so I think that was really well designed because you may not want it just sitting there ticking and refreshing every second. So, um, I think that it's, it's good that it, it kind of goes down. So if you hit select and you go to your stopwatch and you bring it up, like there it is, still counting. So um, that's pretty cool. Um, and then, so we've got notification, stopwatch, timer. The last um, option here on the little menu says memo. So on the app on the phone, you can type a memo and um, it will be here. I think you can do up to 10. So if I hit select on memo, you can go through the numbers. So there's one, two, um, you can like scroll through and then hit select and then your memo is on there. So if you want like a short little memo of some sort or like a phone number or something, whatever on there, um, you can do that. So that's pretty neat. So that is all that's kind of like on the main braille menu that you can scroll through using the crown. Okay, so now we can talk about pairing it with the app. There is a dot watch app and you can pair the watch to your phone via Bluetooth. And then on the app is different settings for the watch. And it also has the um, kind of like instruction guide on the app. So that's cool. The watch does come with a instruction manual in braille slash print. But as someone who is still a beginner level braille reader, um, reading an instruction manual in braille was very overwhelming to me. So I'm glad that the instructions um, are in the app as well. So you can read that with your voiceover if you would like to. And then they have just general settings for your watch. Um, that's where you can type your memos that go to your watch. And there's also a learn braille function. So um, this you can like in the app, hit a number and the number will pop up on your watch. You can also do it with the alphabet. You can either just have it put like the whole alphabet on your uh, on the watch and you can scroll through it with the little touch sensors 
or you can type in any letter that you want and hit send and the letter pops up on your watch. There is also a setting, I think it's called playground, where you can type in anything and it pops up on your watch. So personally, that was my favorite part for like the learning braille because you know I, I know the numbers and the letters pretty well, but with this, you can type in whatever and it comes up in contracted braille. So if you have trouble remembering all of those hundreds of contractions, um, you can just type in whatever and it'll come up in contracted braille on the watch. So I think that was really helpful. And circling back to getting notifications on your watch. So like I said, you can pair it with your um, smartphone so you can get notifications for different apps. Um, you can also get notified when you get a phone call. So the watch will vibrate and it'll come up and it'll say call on the braille cells. And if you hit select, it will tell you who is calling you. So I think that's really cool because sometimes like if you're, you know, in a meeting or something and your phone is ringing and you want to know like, is this important or is this a robot calling to tell me about my car's extended warranty? Um, you can check, you know, quietly and discreetly who is calling you to know like if you need to take that call. And then once you see who it is, if you hit select again, it will answer the call. Um, it does not answer it on this watch. This watch has no audio, there is no speaker, no sound but it answers it on your phone. So I guess you, you know, you want to make sure your phone is nearby if you answer it on your watch because you can't, can't talk on this. And then for the smartphone notifications. So if you go to notifications, um, it, it has them numbered. So like the first thing that pops up is just the number symbol and then a one. If I scroll down, it'll tell me how many I have. So I have, 16 notifications and then you will click on it and it'll tell you what app it's from and then read the notification. So um, mainly mine are all YouTube comments because I have most of my notifications from other apps on my phone turned off because I just don't like to get a lot of notifications. One of my biggest complaints about the notifications and it's kind of a significant one is that I don't get text messages on the watch. Um, I think that you're supposed to, and I don't know if it's because I have an iPhone, so they are iMessages and not text messages. I don't know if that's the difference, but I don't get any of them on the watch. And I feel like that's a really big bummer because I think that would really add to the watch to be able to check your texts like you know, again, if you're in a meeting or something and someone texts you and you want to know who it's from or if it's anything important to be able to quietly read that on your wrist, I think would be a lot more beneficial than like reading your YouTube comments on my watch. Like, I don't feel like I really necessarily like need to do that, um, but I would really like to be able to get my iMessages on the watch. Another thing about the notifications is that um, you know, there are four cells at a time. So that's like four letters at a time. And then you scroll, there is an option. Um, it can auto scroll. So, um, you can set the rate for auto scroll within the app of how fast or slow you want it to refresh. So once you read those four cells, it will automatically refresh to the next four. Um, I turned mine off and was just using the touch sensors, um, just to go to next because I'm, I'm really slow. Like I'm, I'm still learning quite a bit. So I just, like I said, turned my auto scroll all the way down to use the touch sensors. But, um, you know, again, to like a read four cells and then hit next and four cells and then hit next is not ideal. Like I said, I think it would be a lot better if you're just trying to like read a text real quick, then, you know, someone would really want to like read all of their YouTube comments on their Braille watch. And I will say, you know, I'm not complaining about the watch only having four cells. Like that's how you have to do it. If there were any more cells or if this was any bigger, like it wouldn't be a watch anymore. So like, I don't know how you could do that differently. Four cells is about all you can get on a wristwatch. So um, not complaining about that. Just, just like my opinion on the whole notifications thing. Something else I noticed, which was like kind of buggy, is that when I would be reading a notification or like a memo or something, it would like, it almost seemed like 
it thinks I was like just pressing down on the touch sensor because it would just continuously vibrate and the cells would just like be rapidly changing. And so that was kind of frustrating because I'd be trying to read and it's like freaking out and I would be like, ah, what, what's happening? Please, please stop. So, um, that is kind of one little bug that I noticed. It's not a huge deal, but, um, it did get kind of frustrating when that would happen. So my overall thoughts about this, I think this is a really cool device. I think I liked it quite a bit more than I thought I would. I really like being able to check the time quietly. I just like press my button and read my braille and then press the other button and it goes back down. That's really nice, especially at work. If I'm, you know, in a meeting and want to check the time that I can do that quietly. Um, that is really nice. I think it's also really cool that it has um, you know, not only the time, but the stopwatch and the timer. So for people who um, do like presentations or give speeches or anything like that, it's a really great way to be able to quietly and discreetly keep track of your time, which is, um, I feel like an issue that blind people have been trying to solve for uh, a long time now. Also, like I said, it's really helped me with my braille literacy and being to practice braille because like I said, I'm not great about practicing braille, but it's a lot easier when it's like right here on my wrist or right in front of me. Um, it's also really helped me to practice my numbers. I have been really bad with numbers. I would be one of those people that would be like, okay, that's an F and then have to count on my fingers. A, B, C, D, E, F. It's a six. Um, so it's really helped me to know the numbers. So that has been really good. Oh, also I forgot to mention that there is also a tactile mode that you can do instead of the braille mode for people who don't know braille, um, where like, for example, the time instead of being in braille numbers would um, just be like, they have this system where it's like you essentially count the dots. I, I don't know, it, the tactile uh, format was kind of confusing to me, probably because I do know braille, so that was just like a lot easier and I didn't really pay a whole lot of attention to that. But there is that option if you are wanting a way to tactile tactilely <laughs> tell time um, and you don't know braille, it does have that option as well. Tactily, is that right? Tactily, tactilely. Okay, I don't know words. Um, anyways, so that pretty much sums up the watch and my thoughts on it. Um, this watch, I believe, retails for $300. I will have a link to it in the description below in case you want to check it out. Um, again, a huge thank you to Dot Incorporated for sending me a Dot watch. Um, and you guys can leave any questions that you have in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. And I hope you guys like this video and I will see you next time.